Good morning, YouTube world. Hey, I put these uh, videos on here about every other day. I try to keep them at 10 minutes or so, so you can just have a cup of coffee and watch a short little video on what G. Rathman is up to today. So enjoy these. We got some on motorcycling, uh, improvements on the house, uh, gadgets, reviews, places to go see, you name it, I'm going to post it, and hopefully you're going to enjoy it. Yep, another beautiful day. Good morning, everybody. In today's video, we're going to replace this. These are the tools I brought. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to need, but I wanted to have plenty, because I don't like crawling up and down that ladder. And this is how I get things up and down, guys. I just tie a rope to a bucket, drop it down. Then I make a phone call to the wife, just in case I missed anything. But uh, there's the new vent back there. And here's the old one. And it was rattling. So when we were at Charlie's, he had some tape. So I put some tape on it to keep it from doing that going down the road. Because that was annoying. Now I'm just going to take this one off. Everybody's is going to be different. But I got to take the tape off. That's it. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun, I'm sure. Yeah, that's good tape. Take the tape off, probably cut it off, and then get down and take all the other stuff off. I'll show you that. Just well, we got the tape off, off the top. I ain't worried about taking it off here right now. I can do that in the shop, but this is all loose. So now we got to go around here and take all of this stuff off, so we can get to the screws, which are under there somewhere. And that, that's going to be a little bit of a problem, but that's what we're going to do now. Well, good thing and bad thing, I guess. I got it off. Uh, luckily, or terribly, they only had four screws holding this thing on, one in each corner. Uh, the new one, wherever it is over there, has got them all the way around the edge. And we'll be using them all. But it's got this uh, glue here. And we got to figure out what to do about that. So, that's the next step. That was much harder than it should have been. Because of all the extra gook up here. So now i got to figure out how to get that off. So we can put new gook. You know. Anyway, that's what we're doing next. That was a lot of work. But we got it clean enough that the other stuff will set down on it now. And, uh, man, that was a lot. They had a lot of leakage there. You could see where it had been leaking there and over there and they just kept throwing stuff on top. Uh oh, the RVs are moving. Must be mean and the wife's in it. Okay, I'm gonna get a broom and clean that up a little bit and then we're gonna see how that other thing fits. All right, the next step is I set this on there and I screwed it, I didn't screw it down, but I marked where it goes. Now I'm gonna take the bugle tape and it's gonna go right under here all the way around and then we'll run the screws right down through it. So that's the next step. And then we just put the screws in. Then I'm going to put more of the caulking that they had on there. Redo that. So uh, let's get on with that. Okay. That's what the bugle tape looks like. Uh, according to Vicky, that was square under there. So I um, don't know. Yeah, if it is, it is. If it ain't, it ain't, I guess. Too late now. Uh, I guess I should have crawled under there and looked myself, but let's just hope she knows what she knows what she's talking about. All right, I set this on here. Let me show you how sticky this stuff is. I mean, I can't get it back off. I was just going to trim that edge off. Well, you can see how that works. Okay, now put the screws down through it. Again, I think we'll use the ones that came with the kit. And then we're done up. Well, now we're going to go. Oh, and if you're using one of these tools... To scrape with be careful I got into my fiberglass right there but I'm just gonna put some of that sealant on top of it it'll be good to go but you gotta be careful don't use power tools if you don't have to but that stuff was oh a good half inch thick and I uh, couldn't get her any other way so anyway you're gonna put the screws in right now you don't you know how to put screws in put them in a screwdriver and put them in all right, let's do that. Well, as anything, when you're screwing something down, don't just start in the corner and go, don't do that. 
go one corner, the other corner, that corner, then this corner, then one in the middle, then one over there. So it squishes down nicely and does, you can see it's squishing out. It's what we want. And then we're gonna cover it with the bugle stuff. Not, that's the bugle tape, the other stuff. The sealant, we're gonna just put a nice little coat on that. Probably wouldn't have had to if I hadn't have screwed up right there. Uh, but why not? I got, got it right there. So I'm gonna finish putting these screws in here and then uh, I'll show you what that looks like. That's self, self leveling uh compound uh we'll show you what that looks like thank you honey my wife just come out and told me thank you be careful so she's a good woman okay that's screwed on and i even put the hinge in the right way keep in mind the hinge goes forward all right uh i'm going to go ahead and put that on it now i'll open that up and show you how that works uh and then uh we'll clean up and we'll go down downtown <laughs> we'll go down and underneath and put the rest of it on hook it up see if you okay work. we're gonna do this hold the camera in the right hand okay what we got I'm gonna fix this little fiberglass thing here I'm gonna put a bunch of that on there as soon as I get it out of there we go now see that stuff is self-leveling well you know what that means it's gonna level itself out right there now I'm just gonna take it and run it all the way around here like that and I'm going to go up on top of each nut a little bit too, making sure no water goes in there. That's what we're going to do right now. And that's how you do it. i got to do use two hands. I'm not that steady. Well, this is done, but uh looks nice. I think it's going to be great. I didn't put the uh, sealant all the way over to the edge like they did. Because I think I put it in right and I won't have a leak. But I'm looking up here. And I think I probably ought to run me a bead right through there. That's got a little crack there. That'll leak sooner or later. So I'm here. I'm going to grab my sealant that I threw down to Vicky, And we're going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm headed down downtown then. But that's done up here. Let's just do a little maintenance. Okay. Well, that was too tall. Way too tall. And that one, like I said, wouldn't fit because it's rounded corners. This is square corners. Uh, what you want to do... It's better to cut it twice because it's too long than to put it in there and find out it's too short. So that's what I've done. Put it in there and went, nope, too long still. Cut a little more off. Now we're going to go set this in there and this should be perfect. Uh, then we just got to hook up the wires, screw this down, and we're done. I'll run a sander probably over these rough edges. This is what I use to cut it with. You can use a saber saw, uh, anything that'll cut it. I mean, it's just plastic. Uh, I wouldn't try to do it by hand. You're going to need a machine. So let's go see if this fits. Well, it's all done but the testing now. She's running. Looks okay. Got all the wires tucked up there like I wanted. And uh, we're just going to run through some tests on it right now. And uh, see how she works. I mean, it, there you go. That's on high. There's your fuse where you put the fuses, guys. This is your panel here. Let's make sure we're on rain. Want that always on. And we got the fan going out. We got down, uh, off and on. You can see it. It's upside down, but it's up and on, uh, down and up. And that's about all she does. Uh, I was hoping it would do thermostat control, but. It don't, and I started looking at other ones, and man, you got to really spend a lot of money to get one that way. So uh, I gotta uh, clean up in here, and then we'll test some more, and if I got any more to add to it, which I, you know, I will. So uh, we we'll clean up, put things up, and then we'll be right back. Well, I'm sitting here taking a break. We got her all cleaned up. Uh, turned on the old tube there, watching Fry Burger, and. Uh, She's working fine. Uh, let me let me tell you a few things now. It doesn't do much fancy stuff. About the only thing that's really fancy is the rain uh, deal that shuts it down. But you just here's your controller. You got your power. You can change it to uh, right there. You can change it to Fahrenheit or Celsius. <clears throat> Go up with the lid. Down with the lid. 
There's your rain guard right there. It's on. You can see it's on right there. Uh, you got your speeds right now. We're running 80%. Uh, room temperature 73. Uh, and that's about all I figured out that it can do. I can't find nothing else. Uh, I was hoping that it would be able to turn itself off and on when it got to a certain temperature, like the fantastic fan does. But that fantastic fan is about over four times as much money. And I'll just shut it off myself. I don't, I don't have the money to stick in here to do that. So, uh, it's going to work great for what we want to. Let's just turn the fan off. That's how easy that is. Now then, we just push the down button. See, it, even, it says the lid is open. Lid's up. Now we're going to push down. And that's what it looks like up here. The little crank handle will crank. Bring her down. And seal her up. And that's all there is to that. So, we're going to call that a done video. We're ready to go camping now. <laughs> uh, we got to figure out where we want to go. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to fire this on. There still may be some other uh, vacation videos that we took uh, on the big long trip. Uh, might be. There was a lot of them. There was, I think, 30 videos. Because we stopped and we seen everything. Uh, we had bucket lists of stuff that we wanted to do, and we did. So, uh, that's the end of this video. I don't think there's anything else I'm going to put on here, but if I do, I will show you. And don't forget about my wish list. If there's something in the wish list you wish for me to show you, uh, check it out. Send, uh, Let me know. Send me the uh, an item, and I'll... Uh, talk about your give you your name out put your name out if you want and I'll uh, give you a good review on it show you how it works whatever it is but uh, I think we're gonna call this a wrap see y'all later guys that Freiburger he makes nice cars <laughs>